When I told the Prime Minister in June 2020 what had been said to me in the Government Whip's office, I urged him to take it seriously as a government matter and instigate an inquiry. He wrote to me that he could not get involved and suggested I use the internal Conservative Party complaint process. This, as I had already pointed out, was very clearly not appropriate for something that happened on government business. I do not even know if the words that were conveyed to me about what was said in reshuffle meetings at Downing Street were by members of the Conservative Party. Not a day has gone by without thinking about what I was told and wondering why I was in politics while hoping for the government to take this seriously. Those that have not had their identity and faith questioned cannot fully appreciate what it does to you. Now is not the time I would have chosen for this to come out and I have pursued every avenue and process I thought available to me, but many people have known what happened. In my statement yesterday, I was careful not to mention any names or implicate the Prime Minister. All I have ever wanted was for his government to take this seriously, investigate properly and ensure no other colleague has to endure this. I have many things that I want to achieve in politics, not least at my campaigns on human rights and genocide, and I'm deeply disappointed that it has come so to that. Be. The latest statement on Twitter uh, from uh, Nusrat Ghani, uh, the Member of Parliament, uh, who's alleged uh, that she was told by whips that she'd uh, been uh, sacked as a minister because of her Muslim faith. Mark Spencer, the chief whip, strongly denies uh, those words, denies that she was told uh, that.